make extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you the new tree feature that comes with Photoshop 14.2. And I've actually created some trees already, mainly because it actually takes quite a bit of time to actually generate the tree if you've got a fairly large document. Anyway, first thing to do, I think, is to go via the layer menu, new layer. Put the tree on a layer, and of course you can move the tree around. It's not suddenly stuck in the centre or whatever. So you can move it. That's the first thing. So now go to Edit, Fill. You want to select Pattern, Scripted Patterns, and Tree. It's part of the list, right at the bottom. Now I would find that slightly odd. I'm not certain because it doesn't have, it doesn't actually use the patterns. I'm not certain why it's stuck in this option, but much nicer in the filter it's quite a nice little tool obviously you could probably find 3d applications that can also create trees there are many click ok and it will come up with a dialogue which is really nice it's quite a decent dialogue it's not particularly flexible in terms of uh, moving things around you can't zoom in into it. it would be nice with a little zoom drop but there's a lot of options different tree types there's 22 different types of trees. I'm certain there's a, I don't know my trees, so I'm just going to select that one. You can modify the light direction. There's a little design down here that shows you where the light's coming from. You can also modify the camera tilt and increase and decrease the number of leaves. Also, you can modify the custom color for the leaves. So you can turn them into uh, bright orange if you wish, or any colour you want. Obviously depending on the season I guess. As well as the custom colour for branches. There's also other settings. I have to say that without close inspection I very rarely can see any, actually any change depending on the settings. But I'm certain with uh, future videos, maybe with larger documents, where I can actually zoom in and really make close studies, I could actually see that there's any difference. But I have to say they look the same if you actually select that one. Anyway, looks exactly identical to me. Add some noise. Right. Okay, so at this point, I say you've obviously got things. You've also got presets, which is what quite good. You can actually save a preset, so you can save a tree and load a tree later. Okay, now if I click OK at this point, it does take quite a long time to process. So I'm not actually going to do this point, I'm just going to cancel. So I'm just going to cancel that, but it does produce a tree design. And as the design is actually on a layer, and I'm just going to go to that layer, you can actually move it around. That's, like I say, the one of the good things about putting onto a layer. Also, not only that, as a layer, you can also, so you could turn it into a smart object as well. So oil paint, so you could actually go and modify the effects later. You could apply effects, so you could actually make the, the tree look like an oil painting, which is quite nice as well. As well as, of course, go to say layer styles, layer style, bevel, boss, and apply maybe like a three dimensional effect, maybe add a drop shadow, and so on and so on. As well as recolor, just go over here, adjustments, etc. You can go hue saturation, just change the color of the tree if you wish. Anyway, hope you found this quick run through of the new. 4.14.2, okay, right, tree tool in Photoshop.